I feel as if I had opened a book and found roses of yesterday sweet and fragrant between its leaves. L.M. Montgomery from Anne of the Island. When I'm stuck inside for too long, I really get restless. I want to go out and the closest thing I could do is read books. That's what I've been doing lately. Lots and lots of reading as much as possible. Lucy Maud Montgomery also said, the beauty of winter is that it makes you appreciate spring. Spring is my favorite season. It's the anticipation of all the birds that are coming back, all the flowers that will be growing, and the warmth from the sun to glow on my skin. I bought the Anne of Green Gables cookbook. It goes through all the books. I wanted to make the pound cake and I've made it a couple times now. This is from Anne of Windy Poplars. I have read the entire Anne of Green Gables series. I've even read the offshoot books with Anne in it that are not included in the series. Here's what I learned from this recipe. You need about a pound of butter. So this is two sticks of butter with about a pound of sugar. So I just mix the two together to start off. Then you put an egg in here and there. So I had to put six eggs in one at a time and stir them all. You put a little vanilla extract and a little bit of salt in it and you mix it some more. When it's ready to go, you gotta dust your little pan and you put it in. It takes about an hour and a half to bake this. I decided to sprinkle a little sugar or a lot of sugar on it. My family loves this. We are waiting for his big brothers to get out of school. And we do this all the time, don't we? I just went food shopping first and then afterwards, we sit here and wait for a bit. I'm reading this book right now, Growing Seasons by Kristen Johns. She's actually a YouTuber and I didn't even know that she was a YouTuber, so now I've got to watch some of her videos. But it's a really pretty book. I've had it on my wish list for a few months. Um, it's pretty. It's got writing throughout it. But look, I could finally learn how to make a sourdough starter. I actually had a pen pal send me directions just last week, and then I got this book, and I was like, okay, so now I, I can really do it. I've got directions twice. So that way I won't mess up. I'm going to read both of them like four times before I do it. But uh, I love this. This has, you know, just, oh, I'm going to be making that this week. It has recipes, but it has other stuff all throughout it. It's talking about, I mean, look, look at this though. Uh, I'm right now in a recipe section but there's like a walk in the woods and how to decorate stuff based off of like woodsy stuff things i love you know so i know there are some people that like the cottage core movement that watch my my channel so you have if you read this you can see some of that oh boy oh man i'm i just started it really today and I'm really loving it so far. Yeah, if any of you know who Kristen Johns is, you probably are like, oh yeah, I know her. I really don't, but I will know her. Her story, her opening story in the oh, very yeah. first part of this book was just like, whoa. Like she had an, like a hit and run on her bike and I'm a cyclist and I don't go out because of stuff like this. Uh, but it was intense. So definitely recommend this book. I mean, these things are pretty fascinating. I love the photography throughout it. So yeah. 
we had one really hot day and we're like, let's go for a walk. Woohoo! I walked three miles this day with my husband as well as with Dane. This little guy is nine months old now. Woohoo! There is a reason why my videos have not been going out as often. I have not been on my phone much, first off. I also have not been on the computer that much lately either. And when I'm in the living room, I'm just hanging out with this guy and just enjoying it the moment. And whenever I'm with my family, I'm just enjoying that time together. Also, I've been working out a lot lately. So I don't know if you've been here for a while, but I have been losing weight. Um, you can probably tell now. You'll probably see it. It's definitely still got a little bit to go. But I joined a couple workout things. One is on is a boot camp for Saturdays, and the other one I've been working out with a bunch of moms with our strollers and our babies. And it's been really great, and I've been enjoying it because I get social time with other women and other mothers too. And then I also get to spend time with him, and he gets to be out of the house. And it's been really great. I pretty much work out now four to five times a week, depending. I still want to ride my exercise bike, but I haven't been able to have a chance. I'm going for walks. I feel more like myself lately, and I really am happy about that. There's been so many things going on in regards to my son Leto and his car, so that's been taking a lot of time. If you have a teenage kid that is driving, there's the, a whole process we, between insurance issues and uh, transferring cars. I had to go get the title and the registration and you know, lugging everyone with me. It's a lot of work. So I haven't been able to update these videos, but I just wanted to let you know I'm still here. I'm still gonna put out videos as much as I can, whenever I can. I have plans for things that I wanna talk about. I have things I wanna do this year, and I am a go-getter. I am one of those people that really puts my mind to things and just does it. Ugh, I'm still in my workout hair. I put my hair in braids when I work out so it's not in the way, because if it's in a bun, it's too much and I can't lay on my back for doing workouts. But anyway, um, Books I'm reading. I finished reading. See, look at this. This is looking so much better. With books, I'm about to start the sequel. I read the first book in, I think, December or late November. So this is the sequel that I'll be starting. I did not start it yet. I literally just got the book on my Kindle. I'm reading Sweet Bean Paste. This is so good. It's a Japanese book about this one guy. He has to make um, a sort of Japanese pastry and he hires a woman who has basically, she grew up as a teenager. She developed a disease that had a cure at some point but it didn't have a cure and I don't want to give it away. So I'm just going to keep it that. And she tries to teach him how to make a bean paste for his pastry. Cause she's like, e this does not taste right. And he's like, Oh, I don't really make it myself. Since I haven't been able to do my book reviews, I'm just showing you some of the things I'm reading. Um, you hear his clicking. He still does. I read Cool Food. This was so good. I learned about so many different foods that some that I've heard of and some that I didn't really know the health benefits or much about it. Yeah, it's cool food. Very good. If you are someone that's like into healthy food and even if you're like a pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan, this you'll love too. Do you want milk? He is signing milk, guys, so I have to I have to stop because he needs to have milk. I've been reading a lot of library books, though, and he's been reading a lot of library books. 
We, be, we go to the library every week, so most of the physical books that I read are library books. This one I just so happened bought because I had the other book physically, and I'm going to donate them as like a set to one of those little libraries that you can find on the street over here. Uh, so that's my plan. I can't wait to read this though.